Okay, for today's review, we're outside over an old tarp while the dog's barking in the background looking at a can of Chef Boyardi. Not to be confused with Boyardi, this is the original Boyardi, as you can tell by its name. The throwback recipe a premium beefaroni, pasta, and tomato and meat sauce. More meat, more cheese, more goodness. Certainly got the dogs excited. Looks like it's got uh, tomatoes in it. That looks like some cheese, and looks like there's a cow in this can as well. And there's no high fructose corn syrup, so it might not be as good, but we'll try. I prefer high fructose corn syrup. Um, but anyways, it's showing you that they are bringing back the old original recipe, supposedly. So we will uh, heat this up and find out what it's all about. Tells you to recycle the metal can. All the good stuff. All right. All right. Well, keeping with review tradition, I am uh, reviewing this meal on an old fence post on a broken fence with R2-D2 and Doctor Who's TARDIS. You'll notice immediately that the food in itself does, in fact, have a similar uh, quality to the original. It seems to be thicker, a little meatier, a little, little soupier. It doesn't, uh, maybe not quite as thick as I remember but it's close but the noodles do have a hole in the end so I think a person can breathe through those um, not well but they could certainly try go ahead and give it a flavor oh yeah yeah that's excellent yes that is definitely excellent mm-hmm I can actually breathe through the noodles as well so that is very original um, I have no complaints about this beefaroni throwback. I think it's perfect. Um, that's a dead tree. That's a living tree. I do think that the meat that's in here uh, is actually, in fact, cow. I didn't find any actual cows in the can, like the picture said, but I did actually uh, taste what does seem to be like beef. Mmm. Yes. That is excellent. Okay. Well, I'm going to finish this. I don't like long-winded reviews, so I'm going to go ahead and finish this up, go back inside, and give you the closing statements uh, as to what I think about this beefaroni throwback review. Stay tuned. Okay, well, for the final part of this review, I, uh, I was going to shoot this part uh, actually in the bed of my truck, but I decided it might be a little easier if I climbed underneath my truck uh, with an old pack of bicycle playing cards with a drill bit in it. Um, to explain the final thoughts on the beefaroni, uh, it, it, yeah, that is also a lot of mag chloride under here. Um, I probably should wash that off. I try to, to wash it, but unfortunately, uh, they keep putting it on the road, so it keeps getting on the truck. Um, the beefaroni might help with this. I'm not sure. I'll kind of give some feedback on that at another time. Um, anyways, very hearty, very wholesome. Uh, I found it to be actually delicious. I thought it did definitely remind me of being, uh, you know, back as a kid having a, a hot can of beefaroni uh, while you're, you know, riding your bicycle around uh, while playing the trombone. I, I think it definitely captures the flavor. Uh, it's certainly savory. Uh, definitely something that I'll have again. I didn't see any MSG in it. That doesn't mean it's not there. I, I looked. I didn't see any. Um, but yeah, overall, I think it, it's definitely going to be something I would certainly eat again. I look forward to trying different throwback recipes. There's actually a whole host of them. Um, that's a pine needle, and it's it's actually frozen in the ice there part way, not completely, but part way. So, but as far as the uh, the, the food itself, I, I do want to try some of the other ones. I've got the raviolis. I think I'm going to get the lasagna. Um, pretty much anything they make. I'd probably eat a dead rat in a can if they threw uh, Chef Boyardi uh, a throwback recipe on the top. So um, stay tuned. There'll be many more reviews to come. We try to do them a little bit differently than most people would and uh, try to make them informative. So if you're thinking about buying this product, I would completely agree that uh, you should go out immediately and pick up a can and relive your childhood days. So we'll talk to you next time. Thanks for watching.